In his book Chaos, James Glick explores the fascinating world of nonlinear dynamics, a field of study that deals with the behavior of complex systems that are highly sensitive to initial conditions. The book begins by introducing the reader to the concept of determinism, which asserts that given a complete understanding of the initial conditions and the laws governing a system, it is possible to predict its future behavior with absolute certainty. However, as the author points out, the real world is full of systems that do not conform to this idealized view, and chaos theory emerged as a response to this growing awareness. The first chapter of the book provides a historical overview of chaos theory, beginning with the ancient Greeks who grappled with the concept of chance and determinism. The author then moves on to discuss the work of 17th century mathematicians like Pierre de Fermat and Blaise Pascal, who developed the theory of probability as a way to deal with uncertainty. Later, the book explores the contributions of eminent scientists such as Henri Poincaré, who was instrumental in laying the foundations of chaos theory, and Kurt Gödel, who demonstrated the limitations of determinism with his famous incompleteness theorem. The second chapter delves deeper into the concept of determinism, discussing the work of Isaac Newton and his laws of motion. Newtonian mechanics, with its rigid framework of cause and effect, was extraordinarily successful in explaining the behavior of many natural systems. However, as the author shows, even Newton was aware of the limitations of his theory, particularly when it came to predicting the behavior of the solar system over long periods of time. It was this problem that eventually led to the development of chaos theory. The third chapter introduces the concept of sensitive dependence on initial conditions, which is a hallmark of chaotic systems. The author uses the famous butterfly effect example to illustrate this point. A butterfly flapping its wings in one part of the world could, through a complex series of events, ultimately cause a tornado in another part of the world. This example highlights the fact that even tiny perturbations in the initial conditions of a chaotic system can lead to vastly different outcomes over time. The fourth chapter focuses on the development of computer simulation as a tool for studying chaotic systems. Early pioneers like John von Neumann and Stanislaw Ulam recognized the potential of computers to model complex systems and make predictions about their behavior. The author provides numerous examples of how computer simulations have been used to study a wide range of phenomena, from weather patterns to the behavior of animal populations. The fifth chapter explores the concept of fractals, which are geometric shapes that exhibit self-similarity at different scales. Fractals play a central role in chaos theory, because many natural systems, such as coastlines and clouds, have a fractal structure. The author discusses the work of Benoit Mandelbrot, who coined the term fractal, and developed the mathematical framework for studying these objects. Fractals also provide a visual representation of the infinite complexity that can arise from simple rules, as seen in the famous Mandelbrot set. The sixth chapter delves into the concept of strange attractors, which are mathematical objects that describe the long-term behavior of chaotic systems. Strange attractors are characterized by their fractal structure and their ability to draw a system's trajectory back towards them over time. The author explains how these objects can be used to predict the behavior of chaotic systems and to understand the underlying dynamics at work. The seventh chapter discusses the application of chaos theory to various fields including physics, biology, economics, and psychology. The author highlights how chaos theory has led to new insights into phenomena such as turbulence, population dynamics, financial markets, and human behavior. For example, the book explores how chaos theory has been used to develop more accurate weather forecasts and to improve our understanding of diseases like AIDS. The eighth and final chapter of the book considers the implications of chaos theory for our understanding of the universe and our place within it. The author discusses the concept of determinism in the context of quantum mechanics, which challenges the traditional view of causality at the subatomic level. This leads to the idea of parallel universes and the possibility that our universe is just one of many, each with its own unique history and future. The book ends with a reflection on the role of chance and uncertainty in shaping the course of human history and the natural world. Throughout the book, Glick employs a clear and engaging writing style that makes complex mathematical concepts accessible to a general audience. He intersperses the technical discussions with historical anecdotes and real-world examples, which help to illustrate the practical implications of chaos theory. Chaos is an essential read for anyone interested in gaining a deeper understanding of the complex systems that underlie our world, from the behavior of the stock market to the intricacies of weather patterns.